love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity Welcome back, it's me Lou I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review and today we are featuring a very very big boy uh, we have the super mario brothers movie bowser uh, this is from jack's pacific uh, this is a beast i got this at my local target um, i believe it retailed for 39 dollars so as you can see this box this box is huge it doesn't fit under my camera at all um, let's try to turn it over and then uh, here is Bowser, and he features a fire-breathing effect. Uh, but you do need batteries, which I don't have on hand at the moment. So at the very least, we're going to take a look at this figure. Uh, this guy has premium details, and up here it says 14 points of articulation. So let's try to get this guy out of the, his uh, cardboard prison. Um... I think this is the figure that really sold me on these toys. Like I saw the I saw the um, line of new figures at my Target, and I kind of already knew I was gonna buy like Mario and Luigi at the least, and maybe come back later for Toad and Princess on another you know another time. But then when I saw this Bowser, I'm like, I need to get Bowser. I know that he's gonna sell out because he's Bowser. It's ridiculous. He's large. I love giant figures, and. Uh, I just had to pull the trigger on Bowser. He, he looks amazing. All right, let's take him out. Oh. All right, he's kind of stuck. Alright, so we have Bowser. He looks... <laughs> this thing is fantastic. This thing's gigantic. Um, let me grab Mario real quick. This will give you an idea of the size of Mario next to Bowser. Bowser is taller and he feels like maybe he's like five times the mass of Mario. It's huge. Uh, underneath, um, you'll find the instructions taped to the underside of the cardboard, which is stupid because... It's paper, but it's taped, so it's kind of like ripping the instructions as I'm removing it. I don't know who, which, which genius thought of that idea, but this is... A, God, who thought of this? Yeah, so the instructions were taped underneath the box, and it kind of tore it a little. Uh, so you do need batteries. As you can see right there, I think that's the battery packs on the back. Oh, this is wild. Wait. So he has a fire breathing effect and it looks like you need to like um right here it looks like you have to deposit some sort of liquid into the back of his head and then i guess he breathes like steam or something wow that's wild um uh, All right, let's try to get Bowser out of here. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's like a small little... All right, so be careful if you buy this figure because I can imagine a lot of people just throwing it out. There's a like the there's a small vial, a clear plastic vial right here, and I think that's where you fill it up with water. So don't throw that out. I kind of wish I knew this ahead of time because then I would have like preloaded this guy with like that liquid or water. And got batteries, you know, have them do that mist effect or whatever it is. But chances are you could probably find another review on YouTube and they'll probably do that for you. Um, Alright, this guy does not want to come out. Come out. 
All right, just bear with me. This guy's really stuck in here. All right, there's that. Alright, I apologize, just bear with me. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of ties holding this guy in. Alright, this guy is a brick. Uh, be prepared, this guy feels pretty heavy. I'm guessing this guy's maybe about, maybe like, uh, at the very least, at least two pounds, I'm guessing. Very bulky figure. Um, whoa. And that kind of concerns me. The loose, the joints, they feel like they're not as tight as they should be, especially for a guy this massive. Um, you'd want the joints to be able to sustain his weight. Like the elbow joints are super tight, but then as you can see, these are kind of loose. Same with the hip. The hip joints a little bit too loose for my taste. But I think when you stand him, um, he's going to be seated with his tail at the back. So I, I don't think that's going to affect his positioning all that much. Like right now, he's standing on my table. Uh, all right, he's not tipping over. Um, crazy looking figure. If you look inside of his mouth, I think this is where that steam kind of comes out of. Um, it looks like you remove this part of his head right here. And I think that's where you fill it up maybe with liquid. I think that's what the instructions said. Uh, it said add 10 drops of water. Seems kind of odd. That doesn't seem like a whole lot. So yeah, you're going to deposit 10 drops of water back there. And then it's going to create that steam effect. But like I said, unfortunately, I don't have water with me or batteries. So, But at the very least, we can look at the figure itself. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy. This thing's huge. I can't stress that enough. It's not the tallest figure in the world, but it's just so massive in terms of its weight. Um... Height-wise, you're looking at something that stands in at maybe seven and a half to seven and three quarters. Um, here he is next to, uh, just to give you an idea of the size. You know, here he is next to Vulcan from Marvel Legends X-Men. Again, he doesn't seem like he's that tall, but then the minute you handle him, he's heavy. He's like, it's almost like a football. And then here's the McFarlane Batman, which we never get tired of. So yeah, wonderful figure. Um, it's a beast. It looks fantastic. I Man, they really hit a home run with this line of action figures. I mean, the, the Jax figures for the Nintendo stuff have been always stellar. And I think with um, uh, you know so much interest in the theme park and in the movie, you know I think it's just going to generate more interest in these toys and the previous uh, Mario figures that they released. But overall, fantastic detail. The face is amazing. The hair is well sculpted. Uh, he has all the spikes on his sh turtle shell. Um, articulated tail. Uh, the arms are articulated as well. Unfortunately, the mouth doesn't move, nor does the head. Uh, the wrists and elbows are articulated. The knees and the ankles. 
So overall, you're getting a really cool action figure slash display piece. You know, I could imagine a lot of people, you know, just casual um, uh, uh, toy fans or just like, you know, video game people just jumping on board with this toy line just because, you know, I'm sure the movie's going to make bank and it's going to set all sorts of records. But, you know, these toys, they're just fantastic. They're just gonna, yeah, the movie's just gonna draw attention to these toys, and everyone's gonna want them. So I'm, I'm gonna say it now, like I said before, if you, if you happen to see some of these, just pull the trigger on them now, because once the movie comes out, they're gonna be harder to find. I'm sure that in time, you know, they'll be restocked and whatnot. But uh, the excitement with the movies is gonna be wildfire, in my opinion. And these figures are outstanding, especially Bowser. So yeah, very stoked to have these. And if this is something you you know you want, you know, like I said, jump in your car and start hunting around. It's awesome. All right, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.